Welcome to the CEO Review TV. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to CEO Review Magazines. I am Dipti Arora, the editor of this prestigious publication. Today, we have the pleasure of hosting a remarkable entrepreneur and business leader, Eric, the branding and marketing communication manager of Interaction, a leading brain sensing platform. Thank you for joining us today. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. Yeah, it's our pleasure to have you. Your journey as an entrepreneur and investor has been truly inspiring. Could you please share a little about your background and what led you to establish leading brain sensing platforms? Sure. So my background began in neuroscience. I uh, trained in neuroscience and then worked in research labs. At the same time, my family business was real estate. So from a very young age, I knew that I was going to start my own business and uh, had no interest in working for someone else being a small piece of a larger puzzle. And I saw that there were some significant problems in the world that needed solving. And one of them was the stress and anxiety that we all have. I then became trained as a psychotherapist to help people deal with stress and anxiety, while at the same time continuing to work in research labs. I was collaborating with Professor Steve Mann. He's the inventor of the wearable computer. And we were working with an early brain computer interface system. And I said, hey, this could be something that could be very well productizable and really help people. So we took that early brain computer interface system that he had and turned it into this device. This oh, is Muse. Okay. This yeah. is Muse, the brain sensing headband. And it has multiple use cases. The major consumer use case is as a meditation tool. So it helps you meditate. And then we have other people that build on top of our platform. And the device is now used by thousands of research labs, including people like the Mayo Clinic, to help with meditation. Yeah. So these are absolutely great points which you have shared. Now, uh, coming towards the next most important part, can you just brief me uh, about this device and how it is helping people? Sure. All around the world? Sure. Yeah. So Muse makes the process of meditation easy. When you go and you sit to meditate, you, you know, you close your eyes, your mind begins to wander, and you're not quite sure what's supposed to be happening in your brain yeah. or if you're doing it right. So it's a popular problem. So Muse actually tracks your brain during meditation in the same way that a Fitbit on your wrist would track your movement. So Muse tracks your brain during meditation and gives you real-time feedback, audio feedback to know when your mind is wandering and when you're meditating. Okay, so that, that's it's absolutely great. Yeah, it's like having a little coach or a guru inside your head actually teaching you how to do it. And then after the fact, you get charts, data, scores, things that actually show you what your brain was doing and let you track the progress of your meditation. There are now over half a million people in the world who've started their meditation practice with Muse or had an existing practice and gone deeper with it. So it's been a great honor to help so many people um, with this device. Yeah, thank you for sharing your insights on this. And it's fascinating to hear that how your the device has been evolving and helping millions of people all around the world. So can you please specify some of the challenges that you are facing now and how did you overcome them? Like uh, all about like related to your device, like uh, if you are facing some of the challenges in, in purchasing, buying and kind of marketing schemes, can you please elaborate some of them? Sure. Yeah. So we were creating a brand new category. There, there wasn't a previous category for a brain sensing meditation tool. Yeah. Um, so there's definitely been the challenge of educating the audience um, and educating the market. But what we discovered was we managed to get a point where meditation was becoming more and more popular. And so adding technology to meditation seemed like uh, a natural thing. One of the other challenges we had was the idea that technology and meditation could actually coexist. And so at first people thought it was a strange idea, but then they tried it and said, oh, this, this really works. You know, just like glasses help you see better um, or telescopes help you see the stars. This helps you actually see what goes on in your mind during meditation. Another challenge that we had was taking 
an EEG system, which usually is in a hospital and has hundreds of, you know, of electrodes on your head and turning it into something that was small and slim and anyone could wear that gives you data right in your pocket. So that took us about 10 years to figure out how to really make a great clinical grade EEG system. And then we had the problem of validating it. You know, does this thing really work? And we were lucky to have um, by now 200 papers, research papers written about news and its effect um, in on the brain, on people's lives. The Mayo Clinic, uh, a very popular hospital in the United States, has five different studies that they were and using Muse. Their doctors actually use Muse themselves to improve their stress and their burnout and improve their meditation practice. So it's been um, you know, a lot of work to overcome the standard challenges of bringing a new device to market. And it's been uh, very fulfilling that we've managed to succeed. So, yeah, I was saying that uh, as we know that mental uh, issues uh, are now becoming common topic and most of the people are facing from the same. And I guess Muse uh, features and Muse uh, benefits are some of the things that are making uh, set apart from its competitors hype. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So uh, these are uh, really nice that news is uh, doing like uh, great in the music industry and in the history. This is absolutely fantastic to see and appreciate. So now the next most important question is that the impact of medication is widely recognized. Could you please elaborate on why individuals, leaders and team leaders should consider incorporating meditations into their daily routines? Sure. Yeah. So um, in the last 10 years or so, we've seen business leaders, athletes, CEOs, yeah. celebrities, all bringing meditation into their lives. And it's because meditation can help you improve a range of conditions. Yeah. So as a leader, for example, you have to remain calm, you have to remain focused, and you have to build great relationships with your team. Meditation yes. helps with all of those things. Yep. So meditation teaches you to calm your mind and calm your body so that when you have problems flying at you left and right, you're able to actually assess them properly. Meditation also helps strengthen your focus. And so when you have distractions that are constantly happening, meditation helps you let go of the distractions and stay focused on what matters. And meditation also helps you build stronger relationships by managing your own reactivity and being able to take the point of view of somebody else and have compassion and empathy for them. And so this helps leaders become really tremendously powerful leaders of people when they gain these skills. Um, we've also seen lots of CEOs bring Muse meditation to their entire company and buy devices for all of their staff so that everybody can meditate together get on the same page and be able to manage their own work stress as well as their interpersonal relationships more effectively. And we found it actually makes employees more productive. Yeah. So are there any particular techniques or practices that you recommend for those who are new to meditation and looking to get started just like, uh, yeah, I am taking as an example. <laughs> like I am going sure. to, yeah. So can you please so the, share some of the tips and tricks? Sure. So the easiest way to start meditating is to set aside some time to do it. It doesn't yeah. need to be more than two or three minutes at the beginning. Okay. And what you're going to do is focus your attention on your breath. So put all your attention onto your breath. Eventually a thought is going to come in Yeah. and then you move, you notice that you've had a thought and you choose to move your attention back to your breath. It's a very simple process. You're on your breath, your mind wanders, you notice and you return. Okay. And so set a timer for three or five minutes and just do this exercise. And that is the beginning of your meditation practice. You might also want to choose some guided meditations to help you in the Muse app that you can download online. We have lots of guided meditations, um, or you may want to choose a technology to help you jumpstart your practice. So okay. there are lots of different ways to meditate. Um, the key is to just start. Great. So indeed, I am going to consider these on my daily lives. Thank you for the tips and tricks. Yeah. So my that, pleasure. Yeah. yeah. So the next most important question is that Muse Interaction Flagship product has been used in various research studies. 
can you please shed some light on notable research and findings related to Muse? Sure. Yeah. So Muse as a meditation tool um, has been used in many studies demonstrating that it really helps people meditate. And when they do it, it helps to decrease their stress, um, decrease their fatigue and improve their quality of life. So we had studies with patients with breast cancer, for example, and it demonstrated improvements in all of those three. Um, we also have sleep tools with Muse. We have another device called the Muse S that can help you fall asleep and stay asleep. And uh, in a research study by Dr. Adrian Owen, a British neuroscientist, he showed that using Muse to help you fall asleep improves sleep quality by 20%. We also have lots of doctors that use Muse themselves, and we've been able to demonstrate an improvement in stress, um, a change in physiology, so lowered heart rate, and decreased burnout and even improved cognitive function. So those were some tremendous outcomes. Yeah, then we also tremendous. Then we also have people that use Muse, researchers that use, use Muse just as a clinical grade EEG. Um, and use our Muse platform. So they have done things like discover that you can identify stroke using a device like this. They have used it to identify the brain activity associated with depression. Um, and we have lots of partners that have built their own applications on top of Muse doing their own research. So it's both a great um, consumer product, a research tool, and a platform for others to fa found their own businesses. Yeah, these are absolutely notable research theories that you have proven. Great. So, uh, in in uh, in in the in your journey of the news, have you received any notable feedback or testimonial from users that highlight the positive impact uh, in on their lives? Can you uh, could you please share any of the testimonial from any of the patient or any of the doctors or from anyone? Sure. There are literally thousands and thousands of yeah, them. Absolutely. Um, you know, if you go on Amazon or Trustpilot or any of our review sites, it's quite extraordinary. People say things like, prior to using Muse, I've never been able to meditate. I tried to establish a practice and I couldn't. And yeah. Muse made it easy for me. People have said things like this helped me on my journey of cancer care okay. um, because it helped me reduce my stress. Um, it said it's people have said it helps them deal with very difficult problems in their life um, because they were able to remain calm. Um, other people have said, I always had this chatter going in my mind yes. that drove me crazy. And, you know, Muse has helped me quiet it. Um, and there are lots of doctors that use it themselves and recommend it and say Good. things like my patients have improved their physiological metrics as a result of using the tool. That's so cool. it's, it's been amazing. It's been yeah, such it's, an honor to see everybody's improvement with it. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Appreciate the point. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. So as a company, where do you see interaction heading in terms of health and medical applications? Are there any exciting development or plans in future? Can you please share like uh, any future plans of yours? Sure. Yeah. So with Muse, um, we have an amazing team of neuroscientists and uh, researchers on our own team. And we've been moving into the world of health and medical. Um, oh. Muse is en route to be recognized as an FDA approved device and used for multiple different indications. So as I said, we have partners that have been using our platform to enter into um, things like stroke detection. We have another partner that's been using it for ADD neurofeedback, um, other partners working in the depression realm. We also have uh, on, um, research partners that use Muse as a sleep tool. So. Um, our Muse sleep tool is actually able to track your sleep as effectively as a polysomnography system, like a sleep lab. So there are lots of people that are now looking at using that in place of sending someone to a sleep lab. So it's um, lots of lots of interest in the health and medical space. Great, great. Thank you so much, Ariel, to be here for the interview. Any last words you want to say to our audience? Yes, that if you feel that uh, you have too much stress, anxiety, 
uh, difficult thoughts in your head, feelings of frustration, a meditation practice is one of the key things that you can do to change your relationship to your thoughts and feelings and help you live a healthier and happier life. Yeah. It's a pleasure to have you have you on our tradition. Such a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Yeah, and to our viewers, thank you for turning into this insightful discussion with Ariel. Be sure to stay connected with CEO Review Magazine TV for engaging interviews and thought-provoking content. Thank you so much. Thank you.